Welcome to a nonsense review of Cities in Motion 2. A city transport simulator game. As you can see, Cities in Motion 2 is very different from Cities in Motion 1. Firstly, the maps are much bigger and the buildings are no longer those old style European buildings. Instead, we have a concrete jungle. A very, very grey concrete jungle. But, that is not the most exciting bit of news about Cities in Motion 2. Cities in Motion 2 is now the an awesome, awesome road simulator. It has splines and auto-generating buildings. These blinds allow you to make great streets. Not only that, you can play with the height and make loop-de-loops and all sorts of interesting arrangements. It's most probably the best road tool out there at the moment. It could even be called the world's premier interchange simulator, maybe. You can come in from different angles and join on different roads to the different roads. This would make a brilliant tool for roller coaster tycoon. It's not only for roads though, we can also use it for metro tracks. Why someone would want to make a train go this way though, I don't know. Now we can join on different routes and it joins perfectly. And single tracks as well. See the way the tracks just change with the splines. This is a brilliant tool from the developers and I hope they keep on making this. And that is Cities in Motion 2 the world's best road building simulator. That was a nonsense review for Cities in Motion 2. Thanks for watching.